In the space of a single episode, all of our food worries have more or less become a thing of the past. Pants are almost done. Deerskin pants, to be precise. And the library of the Milton Basin <laughs> awaits. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. I don't have any food at the moment, but it's all outside, and there's plenty of it. For now, I am just going to get some sleep. I'm sitting on 787 calories, so should be able to rest through the night without too much trouble, and then go out and get some food in the morning. Let's go ahead and just say seven hours of sleep, because there's not much daylight, or not much moonlight, I suppose, left. Seems like the weather just cleared up a little bit, which is ideal. 59 days, 22 hours, 24 minutes. You can tell we're running longer episodes than we used to, because there's more than one day. It used to be that, like, if I played for... 25 to 30 minutes every episode, which now I go for 35 to 40. It used to be that I would pretty much have a day per episode with very little exception occurring. Like, it, that was just kind of the, the way that the pattern worked out. All right, so I'm going to sneak around this way. All right, that deer is running around there, which makes me a little bit nervous. But the main thing is just that I don't want to annoy any wolves because they're still patrolling out there. I see two of them right now. And I'd prefer to keep my distance. All right, let's stand up and walk this way. And I need to locate the third before I get too close. There's the third. That's not an ideal position. So we're going to have to go around the long way here. And I am... Like, I don't have a ton of food. I don't actually have a red hunger meter yet. Are you serious? A red hunger meter yet. But... I need to get to that food as quickly as I can. I might actually kind of take the high road as I approach it. So those crows right there are circling the wolf that I killed a few episodes back with the pistol. If I hadn't killed that one, there'd be four wolves in this area. Again, it's just so convenient that we have so many predators right in the key area that I need to be in at this moment in the playthrough. It's, it's just a little bit hilarious. All right, I can see the dead deer, because remember, we didn't harvest the full carcass. So it makes perfect sense that we would still see it on the ground and be able to use it as a visual marker of where we're going. There's the wolf. That is a live buck. And I need to be mindful of that buck's presence because it could alert that wolf at any moment and the wolf could come toward me, which is, <laughs> to put it mildly, less than ideal. Okay, so there's the wolf. Okay, perfect. Made it. Let's eat that. We're gonna eat this as well. And then eat a third one that we'll probably put mostly on the ground. <sighs> like that. Sure getting cold. Okay. Now, the downside of our current situation is what Jennifer just said. Feeling kind of cold. So, I'll need to make sure that I have... What do I have wood-wise? Yeah, I, I put all of it into that fire. And there's not really anything left to break up at the farmhouse. So I almost, like, am going to need to go back inside for a moment. I'll pick up some sticks on the way here because I can. I'm going to lose a little bit of health, unfortunately while I do this, but we're going to make our way back to the house and like rest for a bit, warm up, and then we'll come back outside, look for some sticks that we can use to finish, because there's really not much time left, but I need fire while I get these pants done, and ironically, the pants will help keep us warmer. You can tell we're 60 days into a playthrough because it's just, it's cold outside despite the fact that I have pretty good clothing. And yes, I would go for the wolf skin if I was going to hang around Milton any longer, but I'm not. I'm, I'm just not. So that's not really an option that I'm thinking a lot about. All right, I see a bunch of sticks, so I'm going to I'm gonna dare the weather god's ire a little bit. Or dare, I, I should say the temperature god's ire. Stay outside a little bit longer and grab some of these sticks off the ground. Snow's really bright right now. 
because they're all staring me in the face, and it seems silly not to grab them while they're right here. And then I can head back and regain the condition that I lose with a little bit of rest. Gotta pick up every single stick, you guys. Every single one. If you don't, you're a noob. You don't know what you're doing. Every single stick. You leave one behind. You're done. In the eyes of everyone. And everybody that ever lived. Regardless of whether they've ever played the long dark. Okay. That's enough of that. Yeah, I've encumbered myself with sticks. Now, mind you, we're working our way back towards the well-fed bonus, too, while all of this is happening, so that's nice. Okay, so this could be a little bit dicey, depending on where the wolves that are patrolling outside the barn have currently ended up, but no, it looks pretty good, actually. We're just going to step back inside... I wish there was a back door to this place. I really do. I really, really do. There are so many houses. So many of the larger houses in this game have back doors. The fact that this one doesn't is ridiculous. All right, in we go. Okay, so let's just go ahead and rest. I don't have a ton of water either, so that's something I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to multitask a little bit with the fire that I make. But let's go ahead and sleep for two hours. We'll definitely regain all of that warmth. We won't regain a lot of condition in two hours of sleep on these settings, but that's okay. That is okay. All right. I do still have this chair in here that I could break up for wood, so that might be worth doing real quick. Uh, and we have this shelf. Hour 57 minutes for six pieces, hour and 18 minutes for four pieces. That almost seems like more efficient. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, of course, leave the books right there. And I will go ahead and grab a book. I don't think I have that many. I still haven't read that training manual either, but that can just be added to the ones I'm going to read soon enough. All right, so we have these cured wolf pelts here by the door. Let me remind myself very quickly how many cured wolf pelts. And I need to make sure I take those with me. Yeah. Four. Hmm. I just have the three for now. Makes me sad. And I do still have the maple sapling and the birch saplings that I need to try and craft as well. So once I get back out there, we'll see how much temperature we can generate from this fire. It's going to be a little bit tough because it sounds like we've got, yep, we've got another blizzard. So that's, it'll help me avoid the wolves here, but temperature wise, it's going to present a challenge. How long do these takes, these planks take to break up? 39 minutes? That's 39 minutes I do not have at the moment. Sad to say. This is not a plank that can be broken up, which blows my mind, by the way. Hmm. All right, so we can at least get this fire started. This fire is not going to blow out. It's one of the beautiful things about crafting in here, even during a blizzard. As long as you can get the fire hot enough, you're golden. Also, this could actually give me an opportunity to go get the rest of the meat and bring it safely back here. And I probably will do that, not going to lie. Alright, so let's let this warm up for a moment. We've got 4 hours 36 minutes on the current fire. We're back above zero degrees Fahrenheit, but we need to be above 32. We're golden. So let's just put a few more pieces of reclaimed wood on there. Let's pile these sticks on there. And we are set. 
So. Let's go ahead and put some water on the boil. We're going to stand right here as close to this thing as we possibly can. Feels like 68. Let's make sure it still feels like 68. 68. All right. So we're within the maximum warmth radius of this fire. And we have 5.5 hours left. Part of me is tempted to just go ahead and do it. Let's drink this water. But I'm still going to do it an hour and a time, just... We'll do an hour and a half at a time, how about that? So the water will be ready to go when I'm done here. Okay, now we have four hours. That's potable water, let's drink it. Oh man, the blizzard's actually already gone, which means the wolves will come back. I should have taken that opportunity, man. Oh well. Okay, so we got six hours, 35 minutes left on the fire. And I need to go get some more of that meat. Let me back off over here. The wolves did not detect me. I can still see some deer wandering around. Down there, where's the third one? All right, third one's right there. I'm going to... I'm going to really be a little bit daring here and walk around the rock here. All right, there we go. I think if I stay up close to this facing, I'll be fine. The wolf is on the far side of their area they've normally been patrolling. Yeah, the weather's totally clearing up. That cleared up. <laughs> Just based on how the blizzard went last episode, I was kind of in my head. I was expecting a repeat, and I didn't even vocalize it. I just, that's what I thought was going to happen. And I didn't vocalize it, I didn't think about it beyond that, and now there's... I mean, now we have blue skies. Oh, long dark. You kill me. What are we going to do with you? Aside from play you for a thousand more hours, because Tales from the Far Territory is adding so much cool new stuff. Alright, so the deer is now in danger of pissing that wolf off over there. But, you know what? I will take that distraction, you know? Happily. Let's go ahead and eat this venison. We're going to drop that. And now we just need to head back over to the fire and keep working. We've got more than enough energy at the moment to finish what we need to finish. Part of me wants to go ahead and get the, uh, the wolf hide up here. And I'm going to. Because that's the last wolf hide that I need. And I can't remember if I have another one curing anywhere. I probably do. But just to be nice and thorough, it's like, let me let me go ahead and grab this hide. It's going to take 36 minutes. Ugh. We're going to lose some health due to temperature here. Unfortunately. Okay. We are carrying a hide. And remember, that's been the subject of a little bit of back and forth. Not really within the community, but, but with me. Because I recall in the distant past, around the time I was doing the last Survival School series, I remember feeling like uncured hides could give off a small amount of scent. And some of the feedback I've seen recently has been that either was never the case or it's no longer the case. Cured hides, definitely not. I've been walking around with them and it's fine. But I mean, we just took, you know, a hide off of a dead animal that hasn't been cured. So in theory, these wolves might smell that and think, hmm, is that something dead that I should go hunt for? Is that something I should go try and get? Okay, so I'm going to crouch down low for these last couple of seconds, and we're going to try and finish this up. Because I think, especially with the storm being gone now, I think we can just finish the pants. Oh, wow, that wolf is close. 
Yeah, we should be more than warm enough. All right, so let's do another thing real quick. Let's put some more snow in there so we can get more water. All right, so now we're warm enough again. Still have five hours, 53 minutes on the fire. And see, that fire, because of the amount of fuel we put on it, I'm a little bit less concerned about it than the previous one. So we can say 1.5 hours again. Feels like night is coming. Okay. That's non-potable. Let's pass time till it's ready. Now drink it. We're still plenty warm. Feels like 80 That's degrees really next more. to this fire. And now the deer skin pants just have two and a half hours. Let's go ahead and say, do I need more water? I probably don't. I'll go ahead and grab the, the cooking pot so that I don't leave it behind. But I think I'm probably good to go ahead and just finish these. With a fire that warm. It would have to get really bad. There's a part of me that wants to be paranoid. <laughs> and I am going to do it. Like, I'm going to be paranoid. It's going to happen. God, that scared the crap out of me. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, hello. So the sewing kit just got used up. So I'll have to use a new one. That's just fine. And there we go. Deer skin pants. So we're going to put those on in the outer layer. Now, interestingly enough, notice, I mean, they have better wind protection, which is quite good, but they aren't any better in terms of temperature than the combat pants we've had two of this entire time. So they are better, and they also restrict movement a little bit more. They're better armor, but they're also heavier, which is a downside. A downside that I'm not a huge fan of. But still, that is an improvement in the grand scheme. So we've got three hours, 42 minutes left on this fire. I'm going to go ahead and take a few torches because I can. Haven't done this in a while. Haven't had the opportunity to do it in a while, really. And I might not do this too much. Oh, that's a really nice one. Okay. Because I want to make sure that I'm not encumbered climbing down into the basin. But now we've got the pants and we're ready to go. And the basin, remember, is like right around the corner. It's not far. And we've already climbed up into this zone from there. So it's just a matter of going back where we came from. And get some more hunting done. Get all of our reading done. Unless something horrible happens, which is possible, we're set for like a zen couple of episodes. Laid back. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and step inside. So nothing really seemed seemingly reacting to the uh, uncured wolf pelt that I'm carrying. So yeah, I can bring that with me. And I didn't, like I said earlier, I didn't want to leave it here. But I mean, if I bring it with me, then I should be okay. I was just a little bit concerned about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. We also have the saplings. Hmm. Do I go out there and get that stuff done now by the fire? You know what? I, I really should. I really and truly should. So, yeah, let's, let's do that real quick. Drink some water. The annoying thing is we, we kind of need the well-fed bonus to make it down into the basin with everything that we truly need. All right, all three wolves are right in the middle of the screen, right there. Love that. Love everything about it. All three. If I were to fire my revolver right now, they'd probably all come running straight toward me because that's apparently how the wolves react. It seems like the way they're currently coded, based on the way that the, the wolf that I was laughing about that specific issue with a few episodes ago, it seems like the way they're currently coded is they just start running in the direction that they're facing. 
I can't remember the last time I saw a wolf run in the opposite direction of the loud noise that they just heard. Okay, so we're back at the fire for a moment longer. And let's see, workbench. Would you knock it off? All right, so the improvised hatchet. Yeah, the improvised knife is the way I want to do this. So let's go ahead and begin crafting. Okay, there's that. And then we have the survival bow, which, you know, we can make with the maple sapling. But the question is, like, do we need that? Because we already have a survival bow. Like, how bad is the one that we're currently carrying? Yeah, it's, it's getting pretty bad. So it's like, go ahead and make a new one, you know? I could also go ahead and make some more arrows right now with the quality tools. I can only make one more right now because I only have one more arrowhead. But you know what? How much time do we have in the fire? Hour 56 minutes? I'd rather make... Oh man, the bow takes 6.5 hours to make. I don't have that much time. I might keep the sapling with me and make it at a later point, but I can make the new arrow. <laughs> you can tell how spoiled I am. I have to spend six hours making a bow? I just found this one. Why can't I just find another one? Okay. Actually, come to think of it, I've got a broken arrow in my inventory, don't I? Yeah. Harvest that. Been sitting on it for a few episodes, so... Yeah, I can make one more. How much time do I have? Enough time. Simple arrow. Quality tools. Begin crafting. Alright, now let's step back out here and hopefully not see a wolf right in our face. Alright, cool. Good talk. Alright, so we're once again, like, hunger-wise, we're approaching the limits of what's, of like, what feels good here. We're going to need to get some food pretty much as soon as we wake up in the morning. But I'm in a better position calorie-wise than I was coming into the shed at the beginning of this episode, the end of the last one. Alright, let's step in here. Now. Already dropped the uh, wolf pelt. There's the bed. Drink some water. And eight hours sleep. Let's say nine hours. We're not going to get that much. We'll get like seven. Nice. All right, so we got broad daylight. Obviously, we're not well fed yet. Okay, inventory management time. Let's see what I need to do here. There's probably, I'm, I definitely need to drop that book. There's an argument to be made for, before I leave, for reading this book and dropping it. So I'm not carrying that around on my way down. I might have to. Like, I might not have much choice. These combat pants. I'm just going to leave them here. I'm not going to rip them up. Because they're combat pants. But, like... Worst case scenario, if I find myself in a situation where, you know, I lose a layer of clothing, you know, having something in the world that I can go and get that could help me, where I definitively, like, know where it is, like, that's a positive, and I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to put that sewing kit away. Let's keep things sorted in terms of weight, please. Yeah, the stones can be dropped.
Yeah, the book is the main thing. And honestly, and also the, the cured maple sapling. And I, I don't need two cured maple saplings either. That's another thing to bear in mind. I don't need that many. These are 57% cured. That fresh wolf pelt is 7% cured, but we'll bring that with us. That's the thing too, is that yeah, I'm starting to think I might need well-fed before I leave. I don't know if I have enough food to justify that though. You know? So I might need to go ahead and make the new bow. But for now, one thing I definitely need to do is go out and get more food. So let's do that. I would have thought I, was, I would be on the way to the basin by now. Hasn't quite happened yet, but we've got the pants. It's just a matter of managing the weight that we're carrying. If we hadn't lost well-fed, I would have been down to the basin by now. That's definitely, that's where the confidence is coming from, because I'm so accustomed to having that bonus and having the full carrying capacity that I currently do not have. It seems like the wolves are actually not here now. Did they finally bugger off and patrol elsewhere? Or are they just waiting to pounce me as a pack? As a single unit. It's probably the latter. Yeah, I don't see any of them. Doesn't mean they're not there. They could just be hiding very effectively. Yeah, I could always, like, take a shot at that deer. You know, see, that's one thing to bear in mind with our current situation. If I need well fed, if I'm going to be here a moment longer, I probably have the time that I need to craft the other bow. You know? Why wouldn't I go ahead and do that? Okay, weather looks like it's turning a little bit. Let me go ahead and chow down on what's left here. That didn't seem like a lot of calories because that was a steak I'd already partially eaten. There's that. And there's that. All right. I'm going to wonder if I can drop any risk of this pissing the wolves off by picking up the meat, giving off a bit of a scent in the process. Is that a wolf or a stump? That's a stump. Okay, yeah. So, am I carrying any wood at all? No, I put it all on the fire. All right, there's probably somewhere nearby where I can get additional wood. All I need is enough to get me through the nine hours of crafting that bow. And I need to stay here anyway to wait on well-fed, the more I think about it. So we've had a couple of days of just chilling here. which on account of losing well-fed is more than I expected, but we're nearing the end of it. I do need to get back inside. I don't want to lose more condition. We've finally been on like an upward trend condition-wise, and I'm very happy about it. Do I, if I don't warm up soon. <laughs> Lovely timing. Commentary-wise. Okay, here's a chance to look for the wolves. Yeah, they seem to have wandered off. They are not out front anymore, which might mean they just are back in that area over there again. All right, so drop that. Was that all of the... Yes, it was. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to sleep for two more hours here. And there's definitely more wood in here that I can use for a fire. There are also books. I mean, there, there are things that I can chop up in here, for sure. It's just not as much as there was. So I'll go ahead and chop this up. It'll take an hour and 18 minutes. Need to pass that kind of time anyway. Grab that book. Uh, nothing else this here. Is getting kind of heavy. I know, it's a lot. All right, let's break up the table. Okay, I <laughs> love how the TV just conveniently drops down a level. Three hours, 54 minutes, but we get more stuff. You know what? I don't think that's worth it. 
I genuinely don't think it's worth it. All right, so this is gonna be six pieces. So this should give us the wood that we need, in theory. I just need to make that bow. Ooh, we got a blizzard. I wouldn't normally be excited about that. It's strange to react that way, but like right now, a blizzard to me is cover. You know, it's the ability to move out to the spot where I need to start a fire without worrying about getting jumped by something that could deal lethal damage. And one of the reasons I'm a little bit more on edge about that right now, and I probably don't need to explain this, you've been watching, but I'll say it anyway. Oh, hello, medicine shelf that I haven't searched at all. Wow. Hey, a plank. so many planks. That is so freaking handy. Now, if only you could break up the ceiling fan. Break up these two. Nice. That's phenomenal. Hang on, is there more? Uh, I can't reach that one. I can't reach that one. Oh, that sucks. Hang on, what, what if I stand up on top? I can't get on top of the bed. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me up here. Let me up here. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. Let me stand on top of the freaking bed. Please? Pretty please. I'm like, I'm right there. Game. I'm right there. Please just let me stand on top of the bed. Please, please, please. If I can stand on top of the bed, I might be able to... Okay, I guess not. I guess not. I tried. Alright, can't quite reach that one. How many planks do I have? ridiculous. 24. That's enough. Also, I need to eat some more of my venison at this point, so let's step outside. Let's get that thing made. Yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna tie off the episode pretty well, I think. All considered. Let's eat that. Oh, that wasn't a whole steak. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm out of food. I'm out of food, so now I have to leave. We're going to make this new bow, and we're going to get the heck out. I have no choice. I might find more food somewhere, but it's not likely. Start a fire. Come on, little fire. Perfect. All right, now that should warm up pretty quick. And that should even be enough. Yeah, it is. But we're still going to add more. Okay, I literally can't add more. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, now let's make a survival bow. We're going to use the improvised knife. It'll take six and a half hours. Uh, yeah, I don't love that work time because I have, I have no food left. I got nothing. All right, so let's spend, let's say, four hours. Hang on, how hot was the fire? Not, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just a little nervous about it, but it's fine. I can always back out any time, like if I feel super nervous about it. But let's go ahead and begin crafting. Okay, now we're gonna drink some water. I'm actually liking the, like, the level of burden that I'm currently looking at. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right, nine hours, 12 minutes left. Got nowhere to put this fuel, so I might as well go ahead and pile a little bit more on there. And we have two hours left, and it looks like it's not going to give me an option to increment that. That's fine. Oh, great. 
That is not what I wanted to hear. All right, so we're going to take a torch just to make sure that we can run off any wolves nearby, because with my luck, they're back now. Love that. Love everything about it. Nope, they're not back. An Aurora, an Aurora wolf right now would be even freaking scarier. But we're going to use that as our stopping point for this episode because it's nice and bright and flickery and frightening. <laughs> I need to sleep a little bit, but then we need to head, back, head down to the basin pretty much as soon as possible and uh, make sure that we maintain our progress towards well-fed and uh, start picking stuff up from the library and reading a ton. There is a little bit of reading I'll probably do when I wake up, but I don't know if I'll have the ability to do it before I leave because uh, I'm, I'm out of food. I ate the whole deer. I ate the whole deer, but at least I can drop my other survival bow. I have a brand new one, and that's, that's a win, at least. We're leaving Milton in very good shape. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.